they're young, they are still in school. I saw even in Super League there were girls of S2, S1. During our days, we didn't have that. We are only women and girls, but again, we are young when we played the game, but again, we thought like older people because we never had a chance of playing with fellow girls or women. We played much with boys and those of what do for those who know. Then mm -hmm. also when competition would play against Kenya as well. So now, uh, the quality of the game, of course, you look at some of the girls have the skills, which is good. But again, when you compare, we are a little bit better, but this, this is promising because now girls play against each other. They get time to play with against men, our uh, fellow women. Mm -hmm. And again, the federation and the country, the parents and everyone, you, the media, UBC now, putting this on TV, it will encourage more girls and then they will learn. I would also ask if at least we could get some games televised from other countries like Barcelona. These girls would learn. For us, we used to... To, to watch but not so much yeah. so the quality is still there but it's promising otherwise we played but at least these girls will learn more because more so they have coaches if they if they are trained i think they'll have to tell these girls good tactics of the game and then it would develop and you would find that first we are talented we are skillful and we had that passion and we worked every day to see that we can make it better we had role models where men for me my role model was obua so i'm asking if these girls can get role models and then understand the game get the tactics they'll be better with us with no time um, uh, you speak from a very important position, Majida. Mm. We've been talking about women's football uh, with Fifi. Mm. Fifi has not even played, uh, has not even kicked that ball. She tells me at school she played some volleyball. She didn't kick that ball. But now, you need to tell Ugandans out there, how easy or difficult is it to nurture this girl and assemble her up to this level where we see them playing at the topest of level? Yes, it may be the tire B of a women's football, but it's still a top level. What does it take to assemble? Because, because you've been through those systems. You've been a player, you've been a coach, you've been a manager now. Yeah, actually, it's now talent identification. I'd like to thank, take this opportunity also to thank FUFA for what they've done, but they still have a good job and a big job to do in talent identification. Not everyone can identify that low talent. We should get professional people, technical people, and developmental people to identify those girls, and there are clubs there. Schools can take these girls, everyone can take these girls. Once they identify those players and use the people who can identify the players, I'm sure that we'll have a very good team and we have more girls to play and then we'll enjoy the football and they will develop in all areas of the game. Uh, thank you very much, Majida Nata. Let me just cut you a, a, a short a bit and go down to the stadium where Joel Muita is waiting on standby to talk us through Rinez against Town View of Bujidi. I enjoy Town View Bujidi. That means the football is spread across the country. Joel Muita, is it still called down there? <laughs> Clearly, like you said, two teams, one from Bujiri, the other from Wachiso. And of course, an encounter that probably could be exciting for us that are going to watch. And those that are watching on UBC Live, I believe it's a game of numbers, a game of uh, big magnitude and a game that will determine either of this side whether they have a journey to continue with because every time you start on a perfect note probably you, s you spread your way out and make sure that you can easily qualify out of the group we know three games in the group you must win every game that comes your way because at the end of it what matters is the number of points that you collect i'll be joined by shafiq mutevi a colleague that i work with and of course we've covered women's football for quite long uh, shafiq first of all give us uh, the image or a picture of these two teams as we head into the game yeah uh, a picture of the two teams playing uh, this afternoon at Fufa technical center in jeru uh, town view which as you said is from bujiri and arenas uh, is from wakiso and uh, they'll be meeting uh, for the second time uh, the first time was uh, the previous season uh, which didn't uh, conclude due to covid 19 and it ended uh, in a one uh, one one settlement uh, at, Rin at, at wakiso uh, so you would expect at least uh, something special uh, in today's game. It is a school affair. Uh, it is down a VSS Bujiri and Rene SSS. Uh, maybe somewhere, somehow, uh, Rene uh, have uh, uh, a bit of experienced players in there. And in Shakira Narule in uh, Nakali Florence who has started on the bench. They have uh, Ivan Naga who has been on the under-17. So you would expect at least something different uh, from the side. But uh, we saw, uh, should I say, a disappointment mm -hmm. or a surprise in Group A. Sure. Uh, the teams which had experience almost lo uh, lost each and every game and they didn't go through. Uh, so maybe I would go 50-50 uh, uh, for the game because uh, the, the players have been have taken long without playing uh, almost a year. Uh, so you expect the, the levels of fitness to be at the same, at the same level. Uh, so 
maybe Rines has uh, something to play for. As we saw, you see, you played for their their, their late coach in yeah. 2019, and they uh, managed to win. yeah, mm. and they managed to win the the the, 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 the title. And you would expect Rines, at least the players, to play for their uh, direct, former director who died a little. Uh, so maybe uh, that can push them to uh, to win this game against Town Village. Clearly, that's it because, like Shafiq said, Rines have something to play for. Their director, the late. Richard Biamukama passed on just a few months ago in March and probably the, at this tournament to make sure they honor him with probably glory at the end of it all. But we know the target is to qualify and go to the FIFA Women's Super League. What matters for now as we head into the game will be the result that either team can get from now. But we shall get back to you, John Ban Sentamu, as we wait for the opening 45 minutes here at the FIFA Technical Center in Jeru. Thank you, Joel and Shafiq. Uh, let me get back to my uh, partner here, uh, Majida. Majida, uh, Joel and, and Shafiq have talked about the element that both these are schools. Mm. What is the contribution of schools or educational institutions in football in Uganda in general? Uh, that is actually good because when we are starting 2009, uh, the schools are the, th the when we are trying to bring up the structure to bring th new things, we used schools. And most especially the pioneer of women football is Masaka SS in Masaka. Those were the pioneers. And then we started intrinsically motivating these girls by calling the young girls in schools to join the national team. That was the under 20 national teams in, in 2009. Mm -hmm. So ever since, this is, that was this, the, the starting stage. And you see that we have schools. But now I would like to ask the federation, as now the game said to be growing and have more women playing against more women, they should now find a way of slowly transitioning from school football to clubs. Okay. That would be better. Okay. And what does that take? Your, your technical, your, 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 your calf what? I'm, ca I'm a calf A-graded instructor and okay. I'm a calf top instructor. Okay. What, what does it take? Because you're now talking to them. I know they're watching out there. Please, Fufa, wherever you may be watching from, listen to this. It's from the source, Majida Nandanda. Please, carry on. Just like we did it in 2009, 2007, 2008, we started scouting the girls from schools uh, with school tournaments. Now, Fufa should find a way of how they should get other experts like we did it and then transition a little bit. We talk to clubs. We fight, well, then we talk to people, community people, so they can start up clubs based with schools, but only that schools, girls can come and join the team, or, but not just to be schools of S1 and S2 because when it's like that, it's mm -hmm. more of school football and we not get the complete players from the school. Maybe like uh, we have calf, calf championship. Yeah. You will find it difficult for the to Ugandans compete, yeah. to compete mm -hmm. with other countries. But there's some, there's, there's, there, I, I saw a girl, uh, the girl that scored a couple of goals for Kings of Kings mm -hmm. um, during the f uh, Group A of this uh, for Women in Light League. The one called Sharon Kanyinjinya. Mm -hmm. She's a bit young, but she simply is a goal poacher. Mm -hmm. Don't you think she can qualify and maybe go to the Lady Dubs and represent the Uganda at uh, the calf, calf, calf level? I'm not saying that exactly everyone should okay. be abolished, okay. but the few, and among as many, you can get one or two, but oh, okay. it's not, it's, it's, it's doesn't not make sense when you have S2, S1, S2, S3, S3 girls in the championship. Okay, before, calf. okay, Madam Majida Lantanda, uh, you've heard of Peter Tai, and yeah. uh, you're seeing him somewhere, walking in, uh, Roba Doba style, you know, everything he does lately is Roba Doba, <laughs> you see him, Roba Doba style. <laughs> yes. Good, they're going to give us the commentary with a uh, Fifi Roba Doba style, but before we go into that, as the, the referees assemble in the middle of the park, your final remarks, especially Renes against uh, Townview in uh, a minute. Uh, Renes is one of those pioneer schools and actually now a club. Mr. Biamukama, he, he's home, rest in peace, is the one of the pioneers of women's uh, school football. Mm -hmm. He was then by Masak in Masaka and so he helped me a lot to bring up those of Naomi and all the, the, the rest. So mm -hmm. I think, uh, I, and then Townview Bujiri is mm -hmm. a new karma. But I expect like we are going to have good football and some of the girls really have ever played the game. So let us see what is going to happen in the, the 45 minutes. Okay, Ugandans, we hand you over to Pirotai and the magic. Fifi Fiona Pig in Amiru for the Robert Dober style of commentary. See you at the end of 45. Coming you to the final game of the day as John Van Sentamu. I'm still wondering what the meaning of Robert Dover style. Uh, uh, that was growing up when I was still very much young when we used to do dancehall raga. Yeah. 
we used to do a lot of rubber doba. Rubber doba. Yeah. Me, I know of an artist called rubber doba. And I recently heard it from Noop that we have the rubber doba. So I don't know what John okay. Burns means John, when John he says Peter Tai rubber doba. You're beginning to scare me. All right. <laughs> Welcoming you to the school's affair. It is a battle between one team that comes all the way from Bujiri, another one from Wakiso. Uh, we expect a lot to come through from tonight's game. So it's uh, Rina's SS, a women's football club all the way from Wakiso, uh, did actually suffer a very big loss when their founder and owner, Mr. Richard Biamukama, passed on in March. And that's the reason as why we have been having a moment or a minute of silence before every game. But today, yeah. Coach Bright Nyanzi has a lot to do for his side today. Yeah, for his side. And the girls have a lot to play for. He's been their father, mother, has sponsored most of them to the school and apparently done a lot for them. Uh, when it comes to welfare, they missed him. Actually, the moment of silence makes more sense in this match than all the other matches. But nevertheless, we are about uh, to get uh, there. Apparently, Bujiri was formed earlier than Rene's. Bujiri town, town view. I love to call it township rollers. I don't know the Botswana club Botswana. coming into my head. Yeah, okay, I, I like this picture, Fiona. Before you go anywhere yeah. else, this is a picture that means a lot. Another minute of silence. Yeah, another minute of silence. I think it makes... Uh, for me, uh, it reminds them of so much, but apparently also some use the knee uh, to join the campaign of kicking out racism. We are off. We're off on this uh, town affair that is, of course, a battle for the school's team here tonight. And we expect you'll be able to enjoy everything there is to enjoy after the entire 90 minutes of football. It's going to be a quick throw in. Looking to see if we can actually get more chances here. Bojiri Town View, found in 2013. And Renee's 2015. Actually, Renee's has been part of the Elite League all the way because the, this should be the seventh year of the Elite League. Of course, uh, we count the other year though was inter uh, there was interference of the COVID-19. But apparently, you can't say was uh, first the top flight for about five seasons. And then, of course, this is second time. It is the second year of uh, the women are football in the country as we have to do. Renee's love to play that free flowing football, but Town View a team that want to represent Bujidi in a very special manner. Well, long ball from Rines, cleared away there by Babiria. It's a bit of a gamble for Nancha Joan for uh, Townview Bujiri, who are dressed in green today. And of course for the Rines, uh, dressed in the black and yellows there. It's a lot to play for, really. Let's wait and see what the two sides can give us today. Nalule trying to drop that ball forward, but Rose does receive the ball on the first side. Is a Rose dropping the ball forward here. If you're just joining us, uh, we had a earlier game that was played, a game that actually went 1 0 uh, between uh, uh, that is uh, Kataka, she Kataka up against Unyaru Guru. Unyaru Guru winning it by 1 0 the side all the way from uh, Rubirizi district. Massimenta scoring that a long free kick. It got in and they're topping the group, but Renez and Townview may want to change that. It's away by Shakira. Little yet again by the captain trying to drive forward. Nalule trying to crop that ball forward. And finally booted away there by Babiria. Ford goes for a throw in here to Rines. Rines played two matches before this game. Actually, they were friendly preparing them for this encounter. Lost 2 1 to Lady Dubs and apparently won 1 0 against Luero Giants. Another interesting team that actually got out of the competition early, Luero Giants there, had a very, very good striker that I liked called Teddy. Her composure as a striker was uh, very, very excellent there, Teddy. And watch out for the midfield duo of Eva, Nagai and Shakira. They drive Renez's uh, football. Their football is centered around that midfield that is a lot industrious and uh, loves to create a lot of chances. Collected in the midfield. Good play from Uja. At the midfield, Nantume Anita. Now the captain, Nalule. Victoring forward, this is Kauda Harriet. Long from Harriet, but to nobody in particular. That just easily glides away there of a goal kick. It's very good to actually have a side all the way from Bujiri. Representing the women. I don't know the last time I saw a side from Bujiri. Representing the men. But... Uh, it will be so good to see how far yeah. really football can develop across the country. Whereas uh, Renez have the experience in the league, playing, having played all these seasons there, mm. 
Bujiri Town V has played, I think, uh, for three seasons or so at uh, the uh, FUFA Women Elite League side. And apparently the duo of uh, Nachuala Shadi and Dokas is also one to look forward to. So we have duos in this game that can change everything. Oh, oh. Look at this, a chance there. It was a good one from Aloyo. And uh, good goalkeeping there from Rose. Just goes away there for corner, but again, good try from Aloyo. Peace, Aloyo. We've actually seen goals scored from such distance, so <laughs> it's not new. Sometimes when there's a freaky closer, you have to just think of a goal. There is change of weather. It was very, very chilly in the morning. You could see some fog, but right now it's a bit clearer. Maureen. So goes up. I think it was a foul there. Just four minutes. And uh, there was uh, the lady, Yusta Kayesu. Uh, fouling. It's a part of the schools, really. I like what the coach said, that uh, we need to go beyond schools, really. Mr. And, uh, Chimbuke Ronald has taken up uh, ownership of Rene's football team from oh. the late brother. Ooh. And apparently he's there to watch oh, the game. Oh, could be a chance. Look at this, Fiona. Could be scored. That's a goal. No doubt about that. And it's the captain, Nalule Shakira. Well, the goalkeeper fumbled with that ball. Maybe she was impeded upon. But Aisha, the center referee, was there to see that right. And the dancing continues. And Rines are leading here. 1-0. If I'm not mistaken, one between Narula and Eva has played for Kawimpe Muslims before. And apparently that's where the experience comes from. But again, when you look, this, uh, these two teams could be stronger than the teams uh, we showed. Uh, that is uh, during the first fixture. Yeah, Bunyaruguru. Yeah, Bunyaruguru. Uh, yeah, Ataka. when you look at this, there is a little more seriousness. Uh, you must uh, pardon me uh, for already deciding. That's my personal opinion. But when you look at this, they're athletic. When you look at the kind of goal scored, the movement, then of course reading the keeper is not there and slotting it in. It is 1-0 and Rene's have drawn first blood. Nalule, the goal scorer, handing the midfield and picks up that foul. Shall be seeing that from the replay, whether there was some bit of an impediment on the goalkeeper, Rose. is complaining she was actually fouled prior to that goal, but we shall be able to see that a little bit later. Here we go, this is the free kick. Rose did not handle that ball. Yeah, she didn't handle the ball. What she didn't have her hands on the ball. What was she complaining about? There Here we was go. Here we go. This, is, this is the angle. There. Oh. She did have the hands on the ball, so to me that's a goal. Oh. It's a goal. There. Maybe, maybe benefit of the doubt. Yeah, the me, there is a slight contact before she goes for the ball. When you look at the knee as she stood still, the opponent, there was some slight contact, but probably was not enough uh, to call for infringement. The referee knows the rules better than we do. Peter, you have a different opinion. No, no, I have mine. The way she stood looked apologetic for me, <laughs> and apparently the other one, you know, capitalized on the mistake and scored. Coach Majida will tell us she has played the game before. She'll I analyze <laughs> that at half time. No worries. I only used milk tubes to play. <laughs> <laughs> but she, used, she has used the ball itself. Come on, Peter. Just six minutes of the game played here. And there will be a free kick now to. Oh, that is uh, a town view, Bujiri. It's away from Nakasango. And the pressure keeps on piling up. Nakasango shielding and uh, Rose receiving that ball. Nancha. Thrown away at the midfield. Driven deep down. It's a bit of a foul there, but uh, game continues. It's a good play from Machinga. It's away by Nakaima and swept away by Kisache. Could be a chest on this, but flag is up for the offside. And the keeper is already there to get the ball. Goal scorer Nalule has scored on her debut. She recently played for Mukono High and Kawempe Muslims are right about that. And apparently the midfield maestro has just shown people why she was actually pursued by Rines. Apparently playing well and uh, playing a good skipper role to the team at large. Away from Aloyo, Nalule on the chest. But uh, Shakira Nakasango will be faster. Now stolen away again, Nagai. Call for the handball right there, but the referee says no. Uh, Ruth Nabwire. Oh, this could be good. What can this result into? Defense from Aloyo was good. Very good play. Kawuda Shakira was the one trying to drop that ball away to Dokas. Uh, Aloyo, jersey number 15, Peace Aloyo doing the sweeping roll here after eight minutes of the gameplay. Nachiwala, Kona. It's Kona Kikia. I love the energy in this second match, really. If you were to compare it with the first match, 
slightly dull. I think it was the weather conditions also affecting the girls You're right in the about first that, game. Peter. Yeah, I think they have mobbed, warmed up well. The temperature is becoming a little bit better and favorable. Brushing wow. ball. Now it's collected here by Maureen Nachinga. Nachinga away. Collected very well there. It was good play from Yusta Ayesu. The goalkeeper Rose receiving that ball well. I'll just remind you that the last time these two, uh, two teams met, it ended 1-1. Yeah. And now they are meeting again here. Uja. Away by Chisache. Anyango. Very good backtracking by Catherine Uja. Finally, there's a throw in here for Townview. Throw shall be brought in by Chisache Juliet here. It's a long ball away for Chisache. The brush is not a good one. And that's a corner. It's good pressing here from uh, Townview Bujiri. On the side from Eastern Uganda will try and see if they can capitalize on uh, the set pieces here. And they get a corner. It will be brought in by Salua Nakaima. Very poor one there from Nakaima. Again, the reverse clearance from Chisache Juliet. Just goes away to the goalkeeper, Najemba. Juliet Chisache. Well, I have to admit that I'm very much impressed with the level of uh, fitness of the girls in this competition for girls who have not played football yeah. because of COVID-19 for a long time. Yeah, it was 13 months. That yeah. is one year and a month. But apparently coming in and acclimatizing, we saw the effect of that in the FUFA Women's Super League. But these ones have gotten more time to train and apparently acclimatizing very well because when you look, Rineza, I think, camped for about six weeks. So that is probably enough for them uh, to get pre better preparation. Oh, ball stolen away. This could be nice. Could be the equalizer. Oh, my goodness. I have to say it was some bit of hurried play from Dokas. She didn't focus at all. No, there was no focus because it was a 2-1, to one, really. It was just a 2-1. to one. If only they had used that. Well, actually, it was uh, Nachiwala, not Dokas. Nachiwala and Dokas had gone forward. Nachiwala tried to score a goal for herself instead of passing that. It's 11 minutes and given away again very cheaply. Nachiwala. Again, lack of concentration. Lack of concentration. And exactly what the coach will have to tell the side all the way from town view uh, that is uh godfrey kohazi i'm in charge of this one but anyway if you look at dokas the lady who had, did send that very quickly together with shakira were brought in all the way from agape ss all the way in busembatia it's another side all the way from eastern uganda Well, that looked like an offside, but no, it wasn't. Yausa or Yesu looking to run that ball away. Kayesu Yusta to the byline and uh, just runs away for a goal kick. <laughs> goal kick for Town View uh, from Bogiri. The people in Bogiri, we thank you for motivating a team and starting up something. Whereas we have the coach of Rennes Football Club, you can't see the black amber. And uh, was it? Yeah, it looks like a number, but that is some uh, sign of mourning. And believe me, everyone is with uh, Rene's fraternity and mourning the fallen hero, Mr. Richard. May God grant him better, better blessings for that. Anyango. This is Anyango, all the way from Bujiri. Tries to beat a mark and she does well. Anyango with the cross ball in. Based in possession, but now stolen away by Nalule, the goal scorer who's fouled in the process there. Well, she has been working very tirelessly in the midfield. Nalule Shakira, the captain. Yeah, when someone has gone through Kawempe in Ugandan football, you can see that Kawempe, you see you of recent, have been powerhouses. And apparently, uh, she corporate also coming in, plus the likes of Aurila. But apparently, the song is with Lady Dubs, who have the trophy in the senior category. Nalule. That's a very good ball through. And the goalkeeper had to come out very quickly. Rose to receive this. 
Well, talking about professional football, uh, like yeah. what Coach Majida said, actually for the ladies' game, it's the schools that are the ones that are fielding more of the human resource into women football. Yeah. From uh, Uganda Matters, you've heard of UCU, you, uh, then you go down to uh, now Rene's here. Both the schools here. King of Kings, Dynamic. Isra Sports Academy Isra. putting their kids uh, in one school. Yeah, it's basically children. Sorry, it's basically the kids, school kids are the ones playing the game. Apparently, I think it was a blessing. Coach Majida joined us today. There are messages from about five li uh, girls are saying they are inspired to play football. I'll be telling you that's that the beauty later. of the that's the beauty of, of the UBC. game on TV. Apparently, let me say it now. Martina, Michelle, Amira, Maestro, and their father who are watching, the dad has now gotten. I can see the value for women football, and apparently, one scored. Uh, to give them a team where to play from. We shall ask the court probably <laughs> uh, to tell time. us yeah, uh, time. where to go. But apparently that is very good. It's inspiring just like UBC, inspiring a nation. This is good. Look at the football. Yusta Kayesu. Stolen away by Babiri Halima. Trying to drop the ball forward. But unfortunately that just goes away for a throw in. It would be nice by the way Fiona to see other uh, teams having women football. Yeah. How would we feel when uh, you see all the Paris Chitende? That is, they used to women. have. They used to have. Apparently, before something cropped up, I will be talking that another day. Invite me for a show about that. Okay. But they it used to have. It would be nice. And to Mama see Yanga was. Women. Mama Yanga was in charge of that. Anyango, beats one here. Needs to cross first time inside the D. This could be a chance here. It's good goalkeeping there from Najemba, but again, <laughs> good football here from Bujiri. Uh, her goalkeeping is taking the ball by its horns. Oh, the flag is up, really. That's, that's, that's an offside. <laughs> leaving nothing unturned. She came out for everything, for both the ball and the opponent's leg, but apparently was saved because she got the ball first. Oh, here's was a chance, really. It was a chance there for number eight, <laughs> Nachiwala Shadia, but denied by the goalkeeper, Najemba. Najemba went for the legs and the ball went the other way. Hello, you. Nancha. It's given away. Maureen. Given away here again by Rines, the captain Nalule, who goes down. From such a distance, you have to be very careful, really, to give away a foul, especially. If you don't trust your goalkeeper because we have seen goals even the goal that was scored by Bunyaru Guru actually came from this distance and looks like Nalule the captain could be the one to go for this ball yeah to beat Renez you have to beat the midfield of Nalule and Nagai they have done very well during all the friendlies and Nalule brings versatility and experience in that oh dear this is too much the idea was not very bad let it loop and deep and there was a lot of energy on that ball and this time it was disappointing from Nachinga Morin it would be nice to see a women's side of UPDF playing football in the league UPDF About, women yeah it would be nice for all the teams UPDF or Akiso Giants actually for me it, um, the forces the forces really would be the ones Having teams in all level, all level because yeah. they, ha they have enough uh, the resources. They have yeah, the resources, resources are there Vienna. to cater for that. Yes, they do. Okay. Because if you look at the UPDF right now, you have a Gaddafi somewhere here. You have a, a UPDF team somewhere. You have a Simba somewhere there, but you don't have a women's you team. You even have Maroons. The she Maroons are here. She Maroons actually going to be playing. I think uh, in Group uh, D. One of the groups yeah, coming group up D. after this. Okay. She Maroons are in there, but there's no she police. There's no ship police. Would they be called ship police? Police love to go Maybe for police female women. names. Police women football club. Because I've seen them having uh, better names for uh, basketball team Tomahawks. Tomahawks are for UPDF. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now you're confusing me. Well, there is... That's a wasted chance. Tomahawks uh, is basically a UPDF basketball club. Yeah, you're Tomox. right about that. So you can see, if they're in basketball, yeah. they're in kickboxing, yeah. they're in boxing, yeah. but they don't have a ladies team. Uh, apparently, I think with FUFA it was first the junior teams. Uh, they accomplished that. And after that, then they will go to the women teams. But for me, like Peter, I normally say, I won't fear telling you and those viewing at the moment, if we concentrate so much on the women football, they have better chances of qualifying for the top. Accolade. That is the World Cup trophy. 
All right. We can go to the finals. If well, we're going to just look at uh, Fazila, add to her a lot, Juliet Nalukenge. The rest, you call up the Sandra Nawetemes, you'll see what can come up with at uh, this female side. Anyango. It was actually Juliet such a rather while ago. Good play there from the Rines dropping that ball forward collected at the midfield Nalule big clearance from Nachiwala on to the far side Shakira Kauda Shakira doing well she goes down I don't think if she can get a penalty for that but uh, she gets a throw in That's some bit of uh, complaint coming in from uh, Shadia Nachiwala telling Shakira maybe that she had to send the ball in the center Aloyo. They're yeah, turning and twisting Nantume. Driving forward to Nalule. Good turn from Nalule. Well, this was the chance maybe for the penalty or no. Totally missed the ball. And got the legs. Even the legs she didn't get. She just stripped. <laughs> <laughs> Ball here, trying to look for Nyango, but the ball goes as far as Najimba. Oh, Najimba trying to tell the team to cool down. You need to cool down. Rene is actually favorites, by the way, to go through, but uh, I like uh, the analysis at halftime. We have seen favorites actually being eliminated. Yeah, by the way, at tournaments like this, because uh, considering COVID 19 effect, the way uh, the leagues have both been played. You realize that those who act very fast and try to win their games are those that go through. Not necessarily that you have to be good. You just need to go for the right settings, game approach, get the right team, and then you're off to the next stage. Cross coming through for to the box line. It was a, brought in a while ago by Nakaima. This is Nakaima. Doing very well. And then she's uh, tripped by Nababi Lydia. Afriki coming up there for Townview Bujiri. Good legs there from uh, Nakaima Salua. And I'm very certain that uh, she's being watched down in Bujiri. That's the beauty of UBC. Uh, down in Bujiri, Kaima be the one to deliver this ball for the town VSS side it's a battle of the schools here one from Bujiri one from Wakiso uh, this is Nakaima Sol Salua with the delivery the referee says there was a bit of an infringement over there so to be a free kick now to Rines delay on the start of that looks like the ball has disappeared and some words coming in from the coach himself bright nyanzi of course uh, for town view the coach godfrey will have a lot to put in his side because they're trailing by one zero it's away by a lawyer by Chisachi a while ago. A good turning there by Nachiwala. Nakaima. Twanyango. Crosses first time Anyango, but straight to the goalkeeper, Najemba. Najemba has been great in goal, very good positioning, very flexible, athletic in nature, and apparently has a very good game reading. For me, she's doing well at the back and helping out with the defenders. Uja. Uja again. Clipped. Same by Anyango. That will be a free kick. Could be wondering where we are at. We are down at the Fufa Technical Center down in Jeru. That's where we've had all matches being played due to COVID-19. This is Group B. 
dropping ball through straight to the goalkeeper but flag is up for the offside in group a we did see dynamic together with the king of kings qualifying for the quarterfinals that is basically two teams from schools dynamic and king of kings and then uh, currently this is group b which has rines Bunyaruguru, townview and shikataka shikataka from mbale townview from bujiri Bunyaruguru from Kuhirizi. rines ss from wakiso this is anyango way by nakaima anyango Nyango trying to be very clever and she is trying to look for Dokas. It's very painful really. You can see Harriet Kauda is not comfortable. She's trying to breathe in and out. The ball is very painful and hits your stomach. Got skills from Nalule. Aguirre. <laughs> Collision. Now stolen away, Dorcas with the run. She's brought down, but uh, referee says it's fair. A lawyer doing very well. Just a number 15 for Rines. <laughs> well, sometimes you just have to laugh, and uh, you don't want to laugh, but uh, you're forced to laugh with uh, the action as it goes through. And this is going to be a goal kick. Goal kick coming up here for Rines. And uh, trust me, Quikiriza Dorcas won't be very happy. With the look of things here. The side from Bujiri, I don't know if they are used to playing on artificial turf, really. And uh, some of these footballers could be playing on artificial turf for the first time. And here we go. I think this is the action. Look at this. Look at this. And, uh, oh, oh, this was a while ago. Sorry, I thought this was where <laughs> yeah. the player fell down. A lot of action taking place. The game uh, with a lot of momentum. The pace is also very good. And apparently it is not yet over as Rines will have to do better if they are to get the three points. Well, Nalule's goal is still the one separating the two sides and uh, it will be the evergreen peace alloyo to throw this ball so far. Well, it's a free kick. Alloyo. Sending that ball very much long. It's away by Rose. Still in a way at the midfield here. Rene is now doing extremely well. Nalule, the captain. Tries to do too much, too many. But good skills again from number 10, that is Nakai. Dropping through Nalule, but stolen away there by Babidie Halima. Well, Nalule is almost everywhere. Yeah, and uh, great skills from her. She knows what to do with the ball. If it needs to be ballooned, that's what she does. If you need flexibility, she goes for the half volleys. I like the way she turns it. Experience paying off, and it is showing. Here she is again, Nalule. Now looking for Nagai Eva. I was wondering why Rines we are putting on black. They are only putting on black today to honor their fallen director. Their oh. colors are blue at home and away they don't white. So okay. apparently that is so why. Basically, black is. Yeah, black is for today. They could even go with black, really. For yeah, it this could go for this tournament. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And apparently, you're asking about police. I will tell you more after that corner. <laughs> corner brought through. That's a throw in, so you can't tell me about it. Yeah, our team. police have a football team uh, in playing in the regional league. Regional? Yeah, Kampala Regional League. Uh, under coach is called Armstrong. And uh, they partner with Kiambogo University. We mentioned yeah, that. Manano. Yes, that is the coach for the police team, female team. They were leading the group before COVID 19, so we don't know their fate because the regions apparently have not yet been catered for. That is why some of them have been complaining that have we left Ugandan football? They are only thinking about the top tier and second division teams. Ah, Armstrong Manano. Coach of Chambogo, when Just they were remembering. beaten by UCU, 12 goals. That I'll is, never forget oh, that. Oh, of course, that is the connection between here and Adipo Chambogo University. I now see Peter Otai. Okay? She was my lecturer. <laughs> she was my lecturer in Chambogo, Katrina Dipo. 
Good woman. Free kick. But but you PDF has no side. Not so. Yeah, I, you, yeah, 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 but let's, yeah, but I, uh, let's just not conclude with that. Something could come up, but I've not heard of it. Long from a lawyer. Now looking for Nalule. A little bit slow on that Nalule, but very good play there from Shakira. Brought in very quickly. Looking for Nagai. Big clearance again, but repossessed here by Rines. Harriet Kauda doing very well, but uh, set a little bit behind at the center. Biria. Good play from Nachiwala. All such balls in the box are very dangerous. Look at that miscue there. Now the goalkeeper has to come out and fumble again. What happened? Well, some bit of collision. It was uh, Nachinga actually colliding with Rose. Yeah, but Rose didn't come for the ball. I didn't get the ball in her arms. No, Referee, yeah, Aisha looks on. It's painful, but she will uh, shrug it off and stand. Here we go. The Rose coming out of her line. Did she get her arms on the ball? No, she did <laughs> That's what perturbs me. <laughs> because she came, the ball was already up, going her direction. You could, she had chances of getting it. But apparently, if VAR is here, <laughs> serious decisions can be taken. VAR. <laughs> well, it looks like we could be having a water break now. Yeah, water break. Yeah. Uh, the afternoon matches actually have water break. So we go for the water break here. Thirty minutes. I think this is where we can now discuss the others. Police Football Club and yeah, the UPDF uh, now. What do you want to discuss? Water break? Uh, allow me. Uh, okay, I'll go back to that. I'll mention the girls that have been inspired today by Majid and Nanta, the kids actually. I'll mention them during the water break. But uh, uh, giving a clear picture to someone who has just tuned on UBC TV, Renee's and uh, Townview. Townview is from Bujiri. Renee's is from... Yeah, Wakiso. I've forgotten the exact uh, name, where they come Wakiso from. Wakiso is very big anyway. Well, yeah, Wakiso is very, very huge, but we'll get the name later. And all you can say is they lost their director, Mr. Richard Biamukama. It will motivate them to play, but some of the action that took place before we went for a break. Peter, what do you want to know? No, we're still discussing women football, but again, that was the goal that was scored by Nalule Shakira. The place is called Namusera. Namusera. Uh, yeah, in Namusera. Wakiso. Mm. Okay, so those from uh, there, we're very happy with this. Yeah. Who is happy with this? Uh, Coach Majida will get time to tell us what is going on. Sometimes are uh, playing in uh, high conditions. We all know it has been raining, but apparently after the searing in today, it has been just off, off, sometimes drizzling. That is the beauty of Africa. We are endowed with such great weather, climate, and apparently the uh, girls... Uh, can try to enjoy it uh, because as it looks today we have great football and for me football means a lot of funds coming in when the girls come of age they can negotiate deals just one player can change the life of a community we've seen those we've seen Matt of Brazil she's one of uh, the uh, ladies that so many a uh, dream of the Abi Wambachis We've seen them do their thing and are being paid a lot of money. So to these girls, there is hope. Fazila was once a player in a game where she scored against Barcelona. All the girls look forward to that as we resume play. And apparently, Town View, ta yeah, Town View Bojiri <laughs> would want to uh, get back in the game. That's our long ball away. Now this could be a chance, but uh, flag goes up a little bit late. It's a Dukas got nothing there. So free kick now to Rines. Away from Aloyo. Miscued here. The chess is on. Can they? And it was uh, Yusta Kayesu trying very much to close up the goalkeeper. Rosa to come out of her line to put that out for a throw in. Feeling a little bit laid down by Hadi Nalule. 
Harriet. This could be a throw in again. Nancha. Put it away. Yusta. Throwing again to the town view. Well, the tempo of the game slightly going down, and uh, possibly maybe town view can uh, try and put some more pressure on this. Yeah, I think, and that is advantage, Rinas, because yeah. when you have the goal, you can try to dominate and dictate at which tempo you play for town view. It's a disadvantage. They need to pump more pace into the game and play their own way. Use your best players and try to capitalize on the mistakes. Otherwise, when Renes takes the first half, it means they can plan better for the second half and apparently can go for full uh, points. Now our pavilion has members watching. Chance away and uh, Dukas quick Riza just puts that ball outside for throw. In the game that ended 1-1, you told us about uh, the result. Apparently, it was Kayes Shakira that scored for Rines, while Nakasango Shakira scored for Townview. It was about the Shakiras. <laughs> Coach Nantan has become a celebrity, <laughs> but she already is. I think she's just gone. <laughs> she's just collecting more votes to her side. Well, well, we'll tell you more about that as we close the half. Apparently, we have a, a goal kick coming in uh, from Rines Football Club. Player takes it very long all the way to the midfield looking for Nagadia. Good skills from Yusta. Stretching forward now. Flag up and it's on offside. Slipping on duty. Maureen Nachinga. This is the glides away. Keeper, minutes to yeah. to play. Keeper yeah. taking her time with the ball. And I think she knows it's all advantage to them. The more time you rest, the more to reserve energies and probably go for better settings. Greeners are playing their way. The whistle has been blown here. It's uh, another free kick now to Town View of Bujiri. They actually get a free kick in a good territory. Yeah. Question is, is who takes it? That is where Mosmenta almost scored from. It was a bit even further. But right, this is very near. And they have their striker on it. They have about three players planning for it. Whoever they decide upon uh, should be great at a shot. It is a good area to poach. Now, chance on this is Nakaima Salua standing a couple of yards away, but uh, let's wait and see how far this goes away. Salua, it's a very poor ball, really. Repossessed by the side from Bujiri, it's clipped away at the midfield level. That's where there are very many bodies forward. Will be a throw in. Well, there's no keeping that ball on play, just rolls out for a goal kick now. Well, it's gonna be coming very physical towards the closing stages. No serious uh, chances yet, but uh, so far, so good here for the Rene side. Well, 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 we have a goal kick. The keeper has always uh, called in. The defender to go along. Apparently, that happens when uh, the keeper does not trust their ball distribution skills. Ball looked like it went off. What is the assistant referee telling us? It's now a throw in. Throw in. And apparently, the girls, inspired by Coach Majid and the boys out there, Martina, Michelle, Amira, and Maestro, plus your dad watching from the sitting room. You inspire a nation as UBC inspires you. 
and apparently it's good for coach i believe you'll say something about this during half time coach hamid also is like us inspired by madam majid as we have a corner coming in from town view bujiri nakaima as a miscue nalule away and repossessed here now intercepted and put away, but repossessed again. Now it's going to be a throw in here to Rines. First half coming towards the end now, so just waiting to see if we can uh, maybe have more goals in this one. The first game ended 1 0. It's the second game that is still 1 0 here. Yeah. And now stolen off the legs, Nancha. Apparently, there have been fewer goals scored than we had in the Super League. We had one of the players scoring four Fazila in their yeah. first game. Yeah. It was spectacular, but sometimes it needs great talent, a lot of consistency to achieve such a feat. Going to be another throw in. We brought in by Nancha. By the way, by. Ruth Nawire has gotten away from danger and that's going to be another throw. Townview trying to press on uh, Rines. And uh, Rines will actually do a lot of defensive now. So let's wait and see what comes in from uh, Nakaima's long throw. Nalule. Long ball forward and just goes away for a throw in. Well, the referee has to blow that we saw. There is a football on the ground. Could be for Town View. Yes, they do have that footballer out down. And it looks to be Anyango, if I'm not mistaken. We have the view. Yes, it's Anyango. Could have taken a kick to the rib area there. You can see her holding that. And that does not look very comfortable. She'll be running that off. And we'll be able to continue this. Nancha. Throw in here to Rines. Five minutes to play for. So Rines one, Town View zero. Nalule's goal in the sixth minute. So separating the two sides, and this is a free kick according to the centre referee. Away from Aloyo. It's brushed away. Controlled awkwardly there. Finally booted away by Babidi. Oh, this could be a good chance if they can utilize this. Maureen is failing to get her foot right. The guy. Oops. <laughs> Welder goes down. And now possessed well by Nachiwala. Kuda Shakira. Bits one and two. Okay, so lay that ball through, but uh, nothing coming wild. And uh, Yusta trying to fight a way through, unfortunately. Yeah. Goes away for a throw in now to Town View. Four minutes, now three. Okay, uh, Rines are trying to avenge that loss during the Copa Coca Cola tournament in Kabale, where Town View beat them 2 1. But in the league. Like we told you earlier on, it was a moment for the Shakiras uh, scoring for both uh, sides. That was 1-1. One, one. This game always produces goals. That's what the statisticians normally tell us. So we are waiting, but we have already witnessed one uh, from Shakira, who has displayed very good skills at the midfield level. So free kick now to Rines. And will be the man himself, sorry, the lady herself, her lawyer. Wait, did they also call men? Long from a lawyer. Now stolen away here by Chisache Juliet. Well, there you have it, uh, Nancha Morin going down. And uh, the referee wants a word now. A word with. Uh, Shakira for that foul. Yeah, that's 
Shakira going very, very hard on uh, that is Nachinga. Long ball in the D. Could be another chance for goal. It is. Clumsy piece of defensive work, you have to admit. Very clumsy. And Yusta Kayesu oh. will be dancing to the oh. flag. Well, there. Look at that. It is, two. it is called the step stepping dance, and that <laughs> caps it all. Of <laughs> she's receiving uh, lots of thanks. She's being credited by her teammates, but the goal itself spectacular and clumsy defending, lack of coordination, poor organization on the backside for Town View, Bujiri. The people in Bujiri should be disappointed, but those in Wakiso and Amunsera are just happy. Just, just look at the way she's moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a movement of a goal scorer. She just did it. Shakira. Well, she's actually excited. And That's Yusta. Yusta and Kayesu. Yusta Kayesu. <laughs> the name itself. If you have Jesus yeah, on your name, this. you Long produce ball magic. By a yeah. It was left to bounce almost. Yeah. Yeah, there yeah. was a simple header that did not clear it away. Yeah. Actually, they just positioned it well for the opponent to shoot and Yusta just didn't hesitate. But there also very good communication between her and her captain because any other player could have shot it. Uganda failed to beat Kenya because apparently Andemwe Sigwa and Mutiara failed to communicate. Everyone wanted it. But these combine and score a great one. Could we be seeing also consolation goal here? Oh dear me! What a miss! It should have been 2-1. That's terrible. Was Very she, terrible. Was she too much clever for herself? She must have closed her eyes. That's the problem. She oh. must have closed her eyes by the time the ball was arriving. But how do you miss from such range? One minute of added time. Well, town view Bujiri disappointing at the death. What a waste. Would have been a very, very quick response from Town View. And trust me, that goal would have brought them back in the game. Well, is it me or it's not me? But I'm seeing the scoreboard still saying one. The scoreboard will change to the viewers. Just know Renez has two goals. Yusta and Shakira made sure that is achieved. Oh, there you go. It's away perfectly by Nachima. Or Kaima rather. Uja. Foul here. Well, what a waste for Town View. If only they had gotten the chance to put that ball inside Town View. Could have been a different result. Well, there you have it. The referee brings the first 45 minutes to an end. It's been an entertaining one. And this belonging all the way to, uh, that is, uh, Rines, as they're leading by 2-0 over Townview Bujiri. Unfortunately for the Bujiri side, they had a better chance at least to bring one back. But they just failed to get that chance well. But here at tough time, it is uh, Rines SS from Wakiso, two, yeah. and Townview from Bujiri. A yeah. good debut for Shakira, but also... A very good uh, future for Yusta because she loves scoring against them. They've not many, met many times, but she loves to come up with the goals. Look, look at them regrouping. I love the way, and look at the teams that regroup. W whatever they do, is it praying, is it coordinating, they do it well and inspires them. It is 2-0. Can a township come back from this? We are yet to witness. All right, so basically at halftime here, it is Readers SS2 and Downview Bujiri nil. Momo withdrawal rates. Now you can withdraw mobile money at the lowest rates. You also get MTN Central Points when you deposit, send, and withdraw MTN mobile money. Visit our Momo agents countrywide and withdraw mobile money at our reduced rates from 1st May 2021. Everywhere you go, MTN. What does it mean to be closer together? It's taking the last bus home for a surprise visit. Closer together is strangers finding a connection. It's bringing home something much more than a box. It's the warmth of home or the beginning of something new.
There's magic in sharing the things that we learn. Because it's those things that bring us close together. Experience a hundred percent 4G speeds across Uganda with the Airtel 4G Pocket Wi-Fi available. At 123,000 shillings only, it comes with 15 GB for one month. Visit the nearest Airtel shop, device selling shop, or Airtel online shop. www.airtel.co.ug slash broadband dash discover. Airtel, the smartphone network. Well, if, if you've just joined us, you've missed uh, 130, 35 minutes of football, starting with the game in the morning, 90 minutes, and this 45, is, 45 minutes, sorry, and a couple of goals scored in there. Of course, Shakira Narure and Yustra Kayesu, part of the goals. We are watching Rines against uh, uh, Town View from Bujiri. The earlier game that you may have missed if you've just joined, Bunyaruguru from Rubirizi, one. Shikataka from Mumbari, zero. I'm joined on this set by uh, a veteran in ladies' football, uh, Majida Nanta and a coach, a former player and everything. She's an encyclopedia of sorts. But uh, later, before I, I mean after I've engaged her, I'll go down to the stadium because Joel Mita will be on standby. He's been watching up close and personal. And remember, anyone who's watching live and in flesh gets a better picture than us. But let me start with Majida Nanta and who is right close to me. Majida, first half of football, Ugandan tactics, what happened first half? Uh, actually, first half, uh, it was entertaining because we had two goals. But again, uh, would like we should thank the girls. You see how they were playing; they kind of entertained us. But again, uh, let me talk about Shakira. When you look at Shakira now, like I said, Rennes has some girls who are, have experience because they've played from school and all other teams. So you would see that she was the one in charge of Rennes. Like the way she was playing, mm. she was that player that everyone was looking up to. So now we'd look at the game understanding, the game intelligence of. Nauli had to put Rennes on top of that okay. game. Yeah. And uh, what do you think um, uh, stopped Uptown uh, View? Do they, uh, do they have butterflies in them because they're <laughs> playing against a team that was one of the founders of this league? Actually, not butterflies, but now, uh, like, in, you see, this is a game. Uh, Town View has been there for quite as being founded, but a girl needs to, now, these are the tactics of the coach, and the girls need now to be stronger. No, we are playing this and this. So all, of, all along, like, understanding of the game, when you look at uh, town view Bujiri. first of all they lack the players understand they, they lack the understanding of the game and also the technique when you look at how we had a, a dead ball like mm. the the way the player was standing meant that she was going to she wanted to play a high long ball towards mm. the goal but unfortunately it was a ground ball so you see those small small details like the technique of how to kick the ball when you look mm. at aluvo of uh, Rennes, yeah. you see that good Dead ball, the cross, whereby it ended wow, up. Look at that skill. Exactly. <laughs> not, 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 not make. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that was <also> one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Just like Renis, you see, uh, would sometimes would say. Some of the touches are good. Exactly. Eh? Wow. And that's now <laughs> when we look at players by, as an individual and say, okay. she's t she has it. She understands the game. Uh -huh. she this here, she's cleverly doing it, or here, these are coach's tactics. But when you look at the girls of Bidu, they are cleverly doing it more than what the coach told them to do because now they are playing and they are showing what they are, they are capable of doing. So when you look at this game now, I'll, for me, I'll look at such a skill like that. Uh, okay. That is the confidence of a girl should have. Oh, if for you that goalkeeping. <laughs> 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 Go <laughs> goalkeeper got it. And now, <laughs> now there is lack of goalkeeping coach, uh, okay. coaching okay. in okay. women football. Okay. You would find that, or even the Super League and the, the, the Super League actually, when you look at them, these girls really, they need to be taught how they can play in goal. Now, okay. yes, when you look at all the goals they have scored, we, I don't really blame the goalkeeper, nah. but now does she have the basics, does she have the technique of how, is it to handle the ball? When do I have to handle the ball or when do I have to punch it away? Okay. Yes, and actually even 
looking at the ball, when do I have to come in as a goalkeeper, or when do I have to shout and communicate to my colleagues to come and play. So those are the small, small details that coaches, technical people on those teams, should help the girls, not only to play cleverly done, but we need to, be, to see cleverly done by players, mm -hmm. but technically planned and tactically planned by the coaches. But uh, you're watching out there, um, uh, Coach Majid, yes. will, uh, will not take, make the difference between what the coach told the player and what the player is initiating as a person at times. Uh, Ugandan would mm. not, but I'm sure bands now you know the game, you know that this girl is doing it on her own. But we're talking, about, we're talking to people that are as <laughs> far as uh, Bunyaruguru, mm. as far as Lango, as yes. far as... Uh, Bujiri, this is an ordinary Ugandan. Yeah. But anyways, I remind Ugandans that it's the FUFA Women in Light League and it's group B that started today. If you missed the earlier game, like I told you, Bunyaruguru beat up on Shikataka, one goal to zero. And now we're watching the second game of the day. Renez against Townview. Renez in the lead. Um, Shakira Narole and Yusta Kayesu getting those two goals in the first half, putting them in good state. They're playing the good football. Majida, what do you think they need to do second half to come uh, back into this, especially the team that is on the deficit? Uh, actually, let me talk about like Bujiri now. These girls need a lot of concentration. They sh should forget what has happened in the first half. The coach should just give them briefly small details like two, three, like go, play as a team, and then do whatever you can so that we can get an early goal. So when you we score now, mm. then we'll it's some like it would be a surprise, but again to intimidate the rain is so that they cannot score. So three points like go, concentrate, play as a team and give us that one goal before rain is scores the third one. Uh, Joel Mita, you're watching, uh, you, you've been listening through uh, what uh, veteran and experienced Tamajida Nantan has been briefing you guys about this game of football and what needs to be done in the second half. But you've been watching up close and personal. Please, Joel Muita. Joel, you're on. Wow. There's a problem with uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, technology, but I think we're going to get Joel Muita any minute. Um, uh, Madam Najida, sorry, Madam Majida. Yes. Um, uh, yeah, football in Uganda now watching women on TV. Mm. Um, uh, do you think the quality meets what the eye requires? I think the public should not ask a lot about these girls. Now let us see what we have. L let us let them watch. The only th message here is for the parents, community people, and everyone to know that at least girls can play football. Women can play football. Give them a chance, and then the quality will come after. This is the beginning, though we have been playing, but when it's on TV, it's a special thing. Let us appreciate it, and then encourage more girls to come into the game. The rest will be history. Uh, Joel Muita, you must be now online. Majida Nantana says that it doesn't matter the quality as long as football is on TV, women's football at that. Then let's roll. What has happened down there where you watch the game from? I'll tell you and I'll agree with uh, Coach Majida Nantanda because every time that the game is live on TV, the coverage is, is better. Uh, of course, the game is going wider and wider because we all know women's football in Uganda, I think we should start with 2015 when the league started. Clearly, you see there are baby steps that we are moving and probably we're moving in the right direction because every time there is a, a new development, it is just for the better of the game. And I think these games being live on TV is clearly all there for everyone to see. It is an important step and development uh, for women's football in Uganda. But I'll be joined by Shafiq Mutevi to break down f some of the things that we witnessed in the opening 45 minutes. Uh, Shafiq, uh, first of all, the two goals that are really serve. Clearly for me, uh, miscommunication in one of that goal, the final goal that Rene scored, then the first goal. Uh, in my opinion, I would say a goalkeeping mistake. What did you see? Of course, uh, football is a game of mistakes. Uh, when you make mistakes, of course, uh, you get punished. And uh, I, I think uh, uh, Bamanil is a rose, uh, town VSS Bujiri goalkeeper has made two mistakes and uh, they have been punished because uh, the team is uh, trying to, to keep that, the, that ball. Uh, they try to keep position, uh, position so that uh, they, they, they get the goal, which they have failed to get. Uh, but I would say uh, the team with most of the uh, most position has conceded two goals. Mm -hmm. uh, the team with, uh, uh, that doesn't keep the ball has got uh, the two chances and they have uh, scored the two chances. So uh, at least uh, you would say 
experience has shown uh, because you, you go behind the ball and you get uh, the team on the break and finally you, you, you get that goal, that one goal in the, in the first stanza of the game and you got the second one. But I would, I would say uh, I, I should expect a, a, a good second half. Uh, maybe when you go back in Group A, uh, that game between Red and Dynamic, it went 2-0 two, two in the first half, and then uh, we came and, and, and saw three goals uh, from Ruelo, uh, which didn't, uh, the team which never scored in the first half. So uh, the, the way Town VSS uh, build up their play, uh, you have Elizabeth Anyango up front, uh, who is giving you each and everything. Uh, you, you, she, created, she creates chances, and I think uh, Doka somehow, somewhere, uh, has disappointed her team, because the two chances she has got, she has failed to convert them. Maybe uh, the game had, had been ended down a 2-2 two, two in the first half. And uh, as we head in, back into the fort, uh, closing 45 minutes, do you see a uh, town view bouncing back? Because you talked about the chances they created, including one at the death of the clock after conceding the first goal. Do you see them bouncing back and probably nicking a result in this one? I think if they score uh, in the first five minutes of the game, I think they can come up uh, maybe and make it 2-2. Two -two. But if they, they, they go, just go by, the game go by, uh, without them scoring, they will, become, uh, they will get tired. Because when you're two down, that means you have to use much energy so that you can uh, get those two goals and maybe uh, you, you get a point. But uh, if they get the, the, the first goal in the first five minutes, I think they can uh, go away with something in this game. John Burns, back to you in studio for the closing 45 minutes of this game. Rines leading and clearly in the driving seat up against uh, Town View SS from Bujiri. Back to you, John Burns. And also clearly hand over to Peter Otai and uh, the lady, Madam Fifi Fiona Pink in the middle, Mama Sky, for the commentary. We see you at the end of the night. <laughs> Rinez scored again a run of play and apparently for town view Bujiri we are chasing the game throughout the 45 minutes of the game we have the next 45 and and spent a lot of encounters in that one so Rinez leading by 2-0 lots of chasing for town view if they can't really nuncha long ball away by Kuda and finally gotten away by Wilder Nancha. It's more fighting and more possessions. Going to be a free kick to oh, that is uh, Rines, the jersey number four, Wilder Nancha. Just been fouled and uh, that will be falling to the legs of Peace Aloyo. Looking to drop that very quickly. Could be a chance for three, but uh, good piece of defensive work. Rose receiving that free and square. Way by Rose, the back at the midfield level, that is Shadia. Now this is Najimba. We'll be wasting a few precious seconds on that. Najimba has the right to do that. Now has to release the ball very quickly. Poor ball really by Babiri. It's going to be going after throwing here to Rennes. So it's going to be more pressure for them to deal with. Harriet. And Chad doing well. Oh, second game, uh, half really beginning slightly low compared yeah. to how the first half began. I think it's reality sinking in because you know you only have those 45 to accomplish all your targets. When you make mistakes in that one, there is no coming back. That is why you have to approach the game in a way that favors you. Long ball from Nachiwala, but repossessed at the midfield level and stolen away again, but could be repossessed by a lawyer. Mm -hmm. 
throw in for Rines. And, uh, just reminding you that tomorrow we shall be having more football. And comes down to, or rather, not tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we have more football, rather, Fiona. Confusing me? That's Group B. We still have more games to play. You also want <laughs> to be confused by me. How do I confuse you, Peter? Nakaima holding up very well here. Trying to look the ball away to Shakira Kuda. Odavata, she just could not receive that. Shakira. Oh, you can see it from her face. She's not very happy. <laughs> oh, I think speaking she's Rusoka there now. Yeah, she's availing herself. And they're not giving her the chances. Yeah, I love people to speak the languages they understand it. Actually, somebody suggested that if it was for the good of education, everybody would be taught in their own language. Because in the other language, you understand. But when they speak to you in your language, then you grasp it and understand better. You don't comprehend at the moment. So for me, I have no problem whether we have people in Bujiri speak Lusoga. Yeah. And then if you have those from Wakiso speaking Luganda, if we have the Toro going for Empakoyaho, I don't know if I'm saying the right things on air. But apparently we have a goal kick coming in from Rene's long one into the midfield. Nalule just couldn't receive that ball here. But again, more pressing from the ladies in black, but stolen away by the Green Army right now from Bujiri. Dokas. Nachiwala. Nalule. Renez continue with the pressing up, looking for Harriet on one side. And the flag is up for the offside. Well, tomorrow we shall be having games beginning as early as 9 a.m. It's going to be Renez up against Kataka. That's the first game. Oh, rather, sorry, sorry about that. It's going to be Bunyaru Guru Girls up against Rene tomorrow, first game. Then Town View will be up against Kataka. Okay. That's for tomorrow. Yeah, since there are four teams, that means that they all have to play. It is just crisscrossing. Those that played in the first match against these two that played in this one. It's a matter of three games. You do a mistake in one or two, you're off to the Not region. Sure. So no way here. Nagai. Nalule trying to put a leg on that, but swept away. Be another free kick here. Something wrong there for Nakai trying to close on, but there's a free kick that has to be taken. It's a very long ball away into the box and defended well by Wilder. They keep the ball on play fairly, but Nancha does well. No. Looks like the ball had crossed the line for a throw in. Joan Nancha, just the number two there for Townview Bujiri. Yeah. He's actually said it was a free kick, not a throw in, so it will be awarded. And Peace Aloyo has been the one taking these. And she'll be the one with the mantle of driving it forward. Loyo. Nachiwala. Throwing here to Townview for Bujiri. Nancha. So not the legs of Kauda Shakira, but they have the ball again. The fighting, looking for Nyango. Sula Nyango with a cross. Well, aside from Bujiri, are trying to look for that all important goal. If they can get that goal at least. But again, good defending from a loyal piece. Pressure still on. And now goes away for a throw in. Yeah, they win a throw in. They lack connection in the final third. You realize that where somebody has to shoot, they go for square passes, which is not good. At the moment, with the kind of weather and uh, playing from an artificial turf, which they have not acclimatized to very well, you try out to the keeper from all angles. That's how Bunyaruguru scored in the first match. And in this one, Townview has really not made an effort. 
to try shoot from wherever they can. They need that somebody that can do it. Apparently, the coach should think of that. Bring in somebody who is attack-minded and can shoot uh, from any angle. That is how a goal can come. A consolation and probably finally to go for the equalizer. There should have been handball, controlling with the hand. And it's a goal kick to Rines Football Club. Rines get themselves this to be sent in by Aloyo. And they get themselves another throw in. Also reminding you that coming closer is uh, the quarterfinals of the Uganda Cup. That is uh, the Stanwyck Uganda Cup quarterfinals coming up very soon. But there is a substitution to be made. Looks like uh, Shakira will be the one getting out here for Bujiri. Yeah, Shakira of Bujiri. I was wondering if Shakira Narule was the one coming off. But then it's a sigh of relief of Bujiri. is the one coming off. And apparently they are bringing in new Amare. I have a friend who loves that word. But it is what it is. You throw out all your guns and try to shoot your opponent down. Because at that moment, Rene is up. Oh! <laughs> good skills and good game reading at the moment from the midfielders. Well, offside is the goal scorer, Yusta Kayesu. Well, overstayed there, but uh, the substitution has been made. And uh, person coming in is basically on the other side. That's Anita. Anita Nasirumbi should be the player on uh, for Bujiri Town Town Viewer. Okay, Town View Bujiri. <laughs> Name disturbing me a lot, sir. Forgive me. Because apparently there is something already stuck in my mind. It will take a lot of time for it to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just wanted to say Anita Mong and uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, oh, is Bujiri related to Bukedia? <laughs> Pitotai, please. It is 2-0. The goals came in through the first half. And apparently the second half, people have been firing blanks. Oh, this is good. Yeah, now, Rines it. goes for your third. Oh, dear. You could have actually gotten something if uh, Nagai... Sorry, if uh, Yusta Kayesu had gone through. But Rose receiving this. Away they go. It's collected by Harriet. Away by Aloyo. This is Aloyo again, trying to get that midfield moving. Basically, the side from Bujiri is now doing a lot of clearance. And uh, straight to Najemba, Eve, goalkeeper for Rines. Well, they are too together good. And uh, if they continue like this, they'll be on top of this table if it remains 2-0. Because uh, well, in the advantage. first game, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, here comes a chance now. You star. Because there's a footing. Receives the ball again, Yusta. Nagai. Back again, the one twos. Eva Nagai. Tries to drop that ball in the D. And finally, they can get that ball away from danger. It's just about clearance and clearance. Now, free kick at the center of the park there. That was uh, Lydia Nababi who actually did foul, so the referee will be awarding that for the free kick. So the Stanbic Uganda Cup will be coming up a uh, few days time to come, about uh, 25th quarterfinals. Very good games there. Yeah. Wakiso and police should be one. That you should be eager to watch. Normally produces a lot of goals. Yeah, it's a express uh, KCC, right? Mm -hmm. Kampala Derby. Then there's a, an, a Villa and Vipers. The Vipers look stronger than Villa this season. It'll be very good quarterfinal matches here. That's basically a final come early. Then Proline probably can get between Bull and Chigezi. A good one coming up. We we have very good games coming up, and those will be live on UBC too. Don't worry. Throw it. Yeah. Uganda Cup, Stanbic Uganda Cup coming up in just a few days' time. And uh, the MPs will be swearing on Monday. Wish them luck. And all I praise 
those that came uh, through the football mandate as we use the football platform for women football we should be ready to lobby for sports that's what we need when we grow as a country that means more revenue better exposure for the girls and everybody wins foul here because uh, Yusta Kayesu uh, being fouled and now they will be utilizing this chance to drop that ball into the box so basically I think Rina will have more players inside the box with a chance uh, to look for number three slow start to group B there's only three goals so far scored in group B from the two matches played today Peace Aloyo it's driving but straight to the goalkeeper Rose comfortable she is with that goes away Wilda Nancha going for safety first but uh, kept on play perfect by Uja before he says the ball had actually crossed the line so it will be a throw to Townview Bujiri it's collected by Dokas Kikiriza a lot of pressure on her and repossessed by Lydia Nababi. Solid performance at the midfield and they do have a football on the ground. She stands up very quickly as play resumes. Advantage Rines. Flag remains down. There's a chance for the goal scorer Kayesu, but uh, quick legs there for Rose, the goalkeeper. 59 minutes. Rines 2. Town view 1. Such could be in trouble. Goes for safety. As it looks, town view are not are patching up things. They didn't learn from the mistakes of the first half, leaving the spaces for Rene's football uh, players uh, to maneuver through. Actually, Rene's is more advancing than they did in the first half because there were a little bit of uh, restrictions for them then to just peruse through. As it looks, the team supposed to chase. Is just giving away too many chances to their opponents. Long ball for now. Collected here by Nachiwala. Well, the chase was very poor. Just rolls away and away for a throw in here to Rines. Well, they seem to be very tired. Uh, Nyango Elizabeth was uh, very busy in the first half. Now, second half seems to be slightly different. Nababi. Nalule. She should be poor, 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 poor choice. Very poor choice, really. If it was checking the keeper, it, uh, you know, it checked out the buds. It was so high and off target. Nalule, happy with herself, but should be angry with what she's just done. This is Baliri. Nachiwala. Throw in for Rines and uh, Pisa Loyo has been the usual suspect there. Arid Kauda to go long and collected well there by Nantume. Well, Rines have not actually made a substitution. And those two goals are very important. Nalule's goal and Kayesu's goal. Very important to the campaign here for Rines. Ball here for Rines. Ariet Kauda looking to go long now. Long from Ariet. Nyango misses. Harriet away. Midfield level. Well, where was that going? I don't know. The last minute I proved that actually we can have footballers holding the ball through their heads. For a minute it was up in the air, up in the air. And nobody tried to climb. It was just a matter of movement. Well, whatever the boys can do, the girls can even do better. I know Peter is now blushing. But at the moment, you think Rines are doing everything fine. And Town View are just looking on. For me, 
no good play will be talked about. Possession will never be discussed if you lost a game 2-0. Well, it looks like a foul throw, so it has to be given the other way around. Just 28 minutes remaining in this match here. And I hope you're enjoying your afternoon watching UBC. This is the Allied Women's League, the second tier of uh, Ugandan women football. The Uganda Super League was actually won by a team from Asindi. The Lady Doves there did win that. And they received a hero's welcome in Masindi with the title. It was a very good one that it was for them to win the title and uh, brought some bit of celebrations down in Masindi. But now here is the second tier that is basically, if you to compare it with the men football in Uganda, this could be the big league. Away by Eve, dropping forward to Koyesu. Now possessed again. Long ball this time from Nakaima. Nababi. Nakai Eva. Nalule. Looking for. That is Yusta Koyesu. Nalule with a shot. It's very poor, but goes straight to the goalkeeper, Rose. She'll be comfortable with that. I think she lost balance as she was taking it, but good try. By the fact that she's always available to get possession of the ball, shows you how important she is. Oh, there is one in pain. If you're a girl, you know how it pains sometimes. Just look at her trying to slide off the ground and apparently needs help to get up. They know they have a deficit of two goals. But she needs to see the doctor who walks on at a time that they are needed the most. Oh. They are trying to stretch her. The face, the gestures on the first show. She's in a lot of pain. Well, to all those watching in Bujiri, we salute you. Thank you so much. And to all those that invest in women football. We take such a time to salute you as we go on. And all those watching from wherever, UBC is widely spread throughout the country. Yeah, that is the reason she's down. She <laughs> was supposed to kick the ball and apparently kicked somewhere else, fell down and she's in a lot of pain. No one to blame. And I think the referee will direct for her to be treated off the pit. So that play can resume as Rene's footballers have a discussion amongst themselves. Oh. Yeah, 25 minutes of the game remaining to play here. Kayes was emphasizing something. You could see her that's fingers that's pointed that's, that's, that's a difference. You can see the difference of uh, an organized team. The <laughs> others are grouping together to discuss. These ones are apart. So and he's looking at the referee. Just asking her look whether this, the goals were legit. Yeah, look at this. This is the time you actually come together, regroup and strategize. You're, you're trailing by 2-0. Come together and find out what should we do. But everybody seems to be far aside and uh, the Rene side look more organized, utilizing such breaks to their advantage. But referee seems to be a little bit confused and uh, there'll be a substitution here now. Yeah, Coach Mwambazi Godfrey of Bojiri. I should be ready to uh, bring on substitutions. He's been with the team since 2012. And apparently he has spotted a lot of talent in the eastern region. Nakawungu will be coming on as Nakasango leaves the center stage uh, for the Town View Football Club. Mm. In his possession. It's a fight for that ball. Nalule. Trying to draw it forward. That has been given away yet again. Well, basically, uh, Town View have made two substitutions in this match already. And uh, you realize on the other side, there's not been any substitution for Rines. I think it's a one man army. 
They may not be the 11 commandos, but they are managing well and apparently have about 23 minutes to get the three points home. Long kick from the goalkeeper. Here comes a chance now. It's Eva dropping. What a waste. Nagai. Well, should have done much better, Eva, really. Nagai Eva just needed to time that ball well because the goalkeeper had already left her line. Her She'll be very disappointed. Yeah, she's disappointed. Just look at that. You know, the way she stands. When someone puts their arms on their waist, it means it is a very big disappointment. But Shakira came and consoled her. It was a great move. And apparently, again, Renee's shoot at goal. How long will Town View continue allowing Renee's just shoot anyhow for a team that's supposed to get two goals back? I think they're not doing everything well. That's lack of concentration, really, Fiona. Eve should have done much better. Kudos, Mr. Wako, for putting up Town View team in Bojiri or managing on behalf of the school. Yeah, I have, a, I have somebody who actually used to work there. Uh, Were they oh, so, sorry, no, no. Yeah. If you remember the game we just came commentating from the Kataka game. B -b 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 and Bunyaruguru. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I did get a message all the way from Badru, okay. who is uh, basically one of the managers of uh, Bali Heroes there. Watching it religiously. Yeah. Oh, that's a chance and that's a sweet header. It's number three and a simple goal for Yusta. I didn't expect that really. Is the keeper okay? Is the keeper okay? Yeah, she might be okay because that was a head that maybe it went straight into her chest, but and ah, then shot. the celebration. Ah, shot dead, shot dead. Yeah, they're three shot nil. Dead. Three Kambia nil. has been shot dead. Can they come back? They need to get a portion that brings back <laughs> the dead to life. Just look at them. Dejected. Yeah, the goalkeeper is still on the ground now. But what was she doing? You wait to be infringed upon. She was impeded upon. But after the ball getting in, and so the referee, Aisha, will count the goal. Oh, look at the one holding the ball. Complaining about something, but it's a little bit too late. Well, here we go. We shall be seeing from this a long ball from a lawyer inside the box. Here we go. And a goal. That's a goal. That's a goal. Because the keeper came to meet Yusta. Here we go. She headed she the, ball go the ball fast. Yeah. It's just yeah. a collision. <laughs> Sometimes the keeper should have come quickly to punch that ball. It's yeah. go and don't go and collect the ball. And for me, keeper just went to collect yeah, the ball. The keeper had no intentions of getting the ball, but in one way or the other, probably she thought she'd threaten Yusta from coming. And Yusta had the eyes on the ball, slotted it in before impeding on the keeper. And for me, it's a goal. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we can say that uh, currently it is Yusta. She is also joint top when it comes down to scoring with uh, a lady all the way from uh, king of kings yeah that was i have to remember her name well just skip my head yet you are telling us she's the best player so far in the first uh, group well and young elizabeth uh, of rinez also came from the king of kings she helped them get promoted and when they reach this stage where they will have to play against them at one point she decided to join rinez football club this is now her second season. Alright, so that is how we are currently standing up on this massive football, real massive football here. Well, Fiona, if you do remember, yeah. I think it was uh, Sharon Kandinginya. Sharon. Yeah, Sharon scored two goals uh, for that is dynamic. Just look at the goal as they repeat it for you. Goalkeeping at its worst. The coach, Majida, hinted on not having very good coaches. At their basics, you just need to learn. Even if I was playing for the Indy, FC, me as Fifi, I would go for the ball first. Safety first, Peter. Trouble now for the Bujiri side. Oh, that's surely that could be a foul. <laughs> penalty. But she, well, you know, she stood up very quickly. I wish she had remained on the ground. <laughs> Oh, drama at the end and Renez being lucky not to concede a penalty from the incidents that took place well really with this result I think uh, their founder 
wherever he is will be very delighted but now here comes the chance for Nyango. good set from the keeper the response what a miss what a miss and what good goalkeeping she's read the game well beaten fast and apparently they failed to follow up the ball Kuikiriza Dokas needed to shoot with a lot of energy. The rebound also not good as the goalkeeper Najemba Eve is being credited for our antics. They saved the day. Well, two players all failing to utilize the opportunity to bring at least one back. That will be a corner to be brought in by Salua Nakaima. And now the Referee trying to tell the misser of the goal, Dokas Kwikiriza, to behave. Corner. Brought in long. Chest from Anyango. Oh, they're fighting. Has good skills from Anyango to the byline, who does very well. And that left leg is a little bit low and finally got in away. You can see the idea of the game is there. Yeah. It's there, but sometimes the power just disappears. Yeah, they have the basics, and apparently, you know, for me, they have lost concentration. Harriet, away. Yeah. Eva. This is this is really the best chance you can have. Yeah. Anyango goes. One Look at this. One. When the keeper got one, two, all had the chance to score. Yeah, and they what failed the to put it home. But again, credit to the keeper. When does the keeper get credit? Just look at her flexing, following up, and again using her right leg just to nip it off the pitch. Good reflexes. Good reflexes from the keeper. She's done well, Najemba Eva. Very, very well. Well, 16 minutes remaining to play for. Just 16. Long ball forward. Driven away. Well, Town View landing in their first game here. And good skills from Nachuala. For what they go. Well, sometimes they need to learn to pass that ball very quickly. This is Nalule. Eva. Eva again. Well, Eva will be looking, by the way, to score if she can. Ah, that's that's very good play, very good play again. But now the chess is Wanyango. Slightly slow. She'll go for the short, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, she does penalty. No, no doubt about that. Tricky player, Anyango. She has this skill in the yeah, head. And for me, she should have been doing that oftenly. She's in a lot of pain, drowning there. But she knows time is not on their side. Her touching the head. She's in a lot of pain, but penalty for yeah. them. I wish she had done that a lot. Remind me what the coach of uh, the first game, uh, the coach of, uh, uh, sorry, the, of uh, Shikataka said. I don't know what she said. About the ball. About ball, the ball sense. Ball sense. Now that Can is ball, ball sense. sense. Now that is ball <laughs> sense. Now that is ball sense. You know exactly <laughs> what you're, you're in the box. Anything can happen. Beat the marker, she will foul you. That's hope, very good ball sense. Hope the penalty taker slots it home because as it looked, they looked goal shy, but it is them against Najemba, who has been brilliant throughout. Well, it will be jersey number nine, Nakaima Salua, up against Najemba, who has been very outstanding here. Town view from Bujiri have actually missed two glorious chances for goals. Actually, three. Najemba scaring. I last saw that when Boete, Brian of URA, scared off KCC when URA won their last Uganda Cup trophy in Imbale Municipal Stadium. He stood like, like a lion, threatening off opponents. Nakaima, up against Najembe. Can they score? Goalkeeper waiting. Now here comes uh, Nakaima. <laughs> That's a sweet goal. Special, That's a sweet goal. Yeah. yeah. Special goal. Well, you can see they are trailing by two now. Yeah. But she's celebrating. She, and she goes for the Ronaldo celebration. I think it is very good. Sometimes goals matter. Consolation. They have 13. And each minute, you know, a goal needs a second to go in. Apparently. Nakaima. Is that Sharua? 
Well, that is uh, Nakaima Salua. Okay. Uh, Salua Shalwa. Should be Shalwa. Salua. I've Salua. never had such a name, but anyway, the people have different names. They have Siri Nod. Water nobody has had of it, I was telling you. Siri Nod, nobody has heard of it. So for Shalua, whether Salua or Shalua, let's use Nakaima. Nakaima pulls the goal back <laughs> for town viewers. Town, uh, for town view, yeah, Bujiri. Bujiri. Oh, there we are. So the water break now for both sides as they go down to regroup. I don't exactly if the side from Bujiri can come in this. They are chasing two. We did see, if you remember very well, in uh, that was the Super League. Yeah. Super League. No, not Super League, rather. It was still in this same company. Yeah, but that's Luero a, pulling back three. Yeah, they, they came from two, two down. They came from two down, yeah. Luero. And they went on to win that game by three goals to, uh, to two against Dynamic. So I don't know if the side all the way from Bujiri can come back in this. Well, trust me, the technical center in Jero has been a beehive of activity. Well, this yeah. ground has hosted very many games, really. It has been a bubble for Ugandan football. Apparently, we had the playoffs, if you remember, to decide on who joins different uh, groups early on. And apparently now we have tournaments going on. The beach soccer team training all the way there thanks to fifa for their own project and apparently now yeah you talked about you talked about can FIFA. Go on. there yeah. is supposed to be an agm today in chigali today a uh, fifa cup agm is on today substitution here yeah, first and uh, yeah. then we shall discuss that later but there is an agm today and apparently there has been voting i'm reliably told honorable florence natural has bounced back as vice president for clubs yes yes she has okay She's been voted today. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, taking on with the game. 11 minutes to go. As we had an earlier substitution, we'll be confirming that later. But apparently, town viewers looking to come back. And this is a game of football, anything is possible. Harriet fighting, Anyango fighting. Possessed well by Harriet and cleared away. That's good fighting, very good spirit over there, you have to admit. Uh, it will be a free kick. Well, just I was saying a little while, there's an AGM going on today. A lot on card to discuss. There is that billion dollar uh, infrastructure to discuss. Uh, then there is also the issue of uh, what we talked about a while ago, Fiona. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Natume came out. Natume was the goal scorer uh, of the third goal that uh, brought the keeper down as Nakurua will be coming on. Nakurua comes to help out with the midfield and try not to expose them because Rines probably have realized that uh, town viewers can bounce back and so they need uh, to hold uh, their midfield family because Shakira is accelerating a lot up front and apparently Ivana Gai may not be able to do it alone. That is why there has been an introduction of Nakubulwa. Throw in again very quickly. There is supposed to be a new tournament to be introduced in African football. And that tournament will actually be for schools. It's called the CAF FIFA Pan-African School Games. Yeah, and that will be funded by Mosepe, the new CAF president. He actually put there $10 also million dollars already. Also president of Mamelodi Sundowns, where yeah. Dennis Onyango and Ismail Watenga play, though Ismail has learned to chip as United. That's going to be a free kick in a good territory. Let Shakira come and play that. She's walking away. Hope we don't see another. So all that is being discussed in Chigali today. And I'm very sure that tournament will be passed by the members who are there. It's good for such players here. Because if you're looking at uh, school games for the under-12s to under-14s, and they have to qualify to go and play an African Cup of Nations for schools, well, trust me, it's big. It's big. It's very big. But here we go, the free kick. And free kick awarded. Uh, it was uh, Maureen uh, Nachinga who was brought down. Question, who goes for this? I can see a lawyer. I can see Nagai. There is also Welda Nancha. Nancha trying to cock her guns. Eva True cocking. 
Here we go. There's a lot of cocking going on here. That's the dummy. That's Eva. Oh, she wanted to go low. Long drive, but apparently the wall saved the day. Possession back to Rines. Oh, this is good. But straight to the goalkeeper there, Rose. Well, well Fiona, if we talk about the Pan-African school games, I think uh, where we are as Uganda, yeah. we are prepared for those games. Yeah, we've been having a school tournament yes. that has been yes. successful. Mm. But apparently this sh should also ring a bell uh, to the Ministry of Education. A lot of schools had done away with co-curricular activities. Here comes a chance for Bujiri. Sometimes you don't need to go for the crosses. Take your time and yeah. try and get your luck in talking about Ministry of Education but apparently the new curriculum will provide for that because in the afternoon it will be about activities. Yeah, yeah. And That's nice. Me, yeah, that is good coming in from the First Lady and those in the Ministry of Education. Then that means schools will now develop more stadium. Well, that is coming up and those games are supposed to begin next year. The Pan-African, the CAF FIFA Pan-African School games are supposed to begin next year with of course uh, from the federation level so uganda we shall do from fufa school <laughs> games then from there we shall go to the sekafa region okay then the winner in sekafa goes to the world uh the afcon and after for afcon you go to the world cup i don't know if that is oh, there no. <laughs> okay, that competition. is africa it's africa initiated yes yeah, africa is, but the mere fact that we have cup fifa so i don't know there we are. but basically this competition pan african pan africans basically for africa well 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 women football is funded by fifa women and youth so when such tournaments are played the women were some of the biggest beneficiaries when it came to the funds that came from fifa though some some teams we are complaining there is that balance that balance but apparently you can't say fifa has done a lot and we thank them uh, for trying to develop the game majida will tell you our spokesperson when she was coach and we won 22 against sudan and when engineer moses mago came they said no 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 we have to go for structures apparently Football was halted for the moment, but it has paid off now. The structures are there, yeah, and really? that is why we what, have what, the Women what, Elite what? League. Well, what's this? Which oh, what, what did you expect? What was a foul there? What do you expect beating <laughs> South Sudan by 22? That was a team that was not yet ready. Yeah, but it's on record. 22. Our really? spokesperson and Majid, our coach, the records never go. Peter, please, 20 try to appreciate us. To zero? Yes. No, what are they? I don't remember. Ah, you, can't, you can't do that again <laughs> to them now. They are basically a good team. They brought in <laughs> Seninde. They have a coach. They actually brought a, a white coach for the ladies' side. They have good structures. Yeah, also Seninde is trying to help yeah. them. We are so that is South Sudan. I don't think if you can beat South Sudan again 22. Mm. I'm sure we can bring them back, back here and see if you can beat them 22, really. But 22? Reminds me of uh, Villa Nakol. But this is uh, the foul. I uh, don't know if that should actually have been a. Uh, an injury issue to talk about, but the goalkeeper Najemba had to go down. Corner! Five minutes. Swung in. Brushed away to the keeper. <laughs> Najemba. It looks as though it was going through, but good play from Dokas. Uh, she's trying to get one back, Dokas. And uh, this is uh, still a very much open game. Now here comes Rene. Eva is out. Oh, goalkeeper Rose doing well. Four minutes remaining to play for in this uh, second game over the day between Rines and uh, Townview. It's a battle of the two schools. And uh, they are currently battling out perfectly well. The goal scorers on your screen, you can see Nalule, Kayesu, Nantume. And of course, on the other side, Naka, that is Nakaima, scoring from the penalty spot for Townview. Side from Bujiri. Well, this competition has uh, schools from, oh, sorry, teams from all over, but mainly schools are the ones taking part. Which has conversant with uh, Lusoga, Aoutsaba, hmm? Yeah, they have been cooked. <laughs> that is what I can come up with. So they are, well, yeah, you need something cooked, to, uh, you know. Cooked yeah. in terms of, uh, I don't understand. What like, uh, you can say food is cooked and ready to be served. So I'm just saying township have been cooked. 
don't know if I'm saying the right thing, but I asked for apologies before going for such statements. I just want to connect to the people of the Eastern region. Somebody will teach me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's throw in for Township View, who have about three minutes to score a second and a third, and maybe the fourth. You can see agents in their play. The throw-ins being taken very quickly. Stolen in the middle. Rines. Possession back to Township View. Yeah, it's currently working very well. Well, the, the big league does continue also tomorrow in Ugandan football. Yeah. And uh, there is a, I think there's a match between Gaddafi and Imbali. Yeah, I think they are resuming for wow. the second round. Yeah. Uh, they need more uh, because they are playing 7-7. Seven, seven. They played seven the first round and now are playing seven uh, second round. That is what they oh, are seven doing. Seven matches, seven matches. Yeah. Yo, so they are playing Gaddafi. Gaddafi plays in Bali Heroes tomorrow. Yeah, but Maroons need a change of tactics. Ayekombuza has to do a lot better. They have they actually they lost four, which is very bad. They could be de uh, uh, yeah no, relegated. You know, do you remember? It was actually Gaddafi that eliminated in Bali Heroes, was it? Right. Oh, Bali. Bali Heroes removed Gaddafi. Yeah. Yeah, I remember penalties. Yeah, it was penalties. Yes, it was penalties. Cup. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's going to be a hard one. <laughs> that's going to be a good one there. So, I, I wish I was in, in the league. Yes, again. You, you, oh you wish goodness. I was in Bali. I wish I was in Bali. I'll go and watch that game. Go! Cool. It will be, it will be ah, no, they have a problem. They, that game is played behind closed doors, remember? So, you're a journalist, Peter. You think oh, you're I a fan? It. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> One minute, sorry about that. One minute to go. No, we had a reason to converse. It's still football. And it coexists alongside women football. Oh, by the way, the big league that is being played tomorrow is the second tier of the Uganda Premier League, which is like this. This is the second tier of the Women Super League. So this is the big league of women. Yeah, its name was first when it was the top tier. When I spoke person, this was the first league. It was Elite League. Well, happy <laughs> days. <laughs> You're dying with me telling you to your face. Yes. Anyway, I've left that, Peter. So I'm Fifi. Now we can go on. <laughs> if you've been following very well, Fiona's been utilizing that word more oftenly. <laughs> when I was, when I was, when I was. So I, I don't know when. <laughs> Let's actually. I'm going to talk to Engineer Moses Magogo to give you back that job. And so that you use the word. Then let's, I am. No, let's concentrate on the game now. If you start. Let's go to let's go the when game. I was, when I was, when I was. Peter 3 1. That is what Rines and uh, Town View uh, scoreboard is reading. Well, the pressure keeps on piling up and uh, Rines continue to put the pressure on. Three minutes. To be played here. Now those who are currently following this game from morning. Chances continue. Long ball forward here. Can they keep the pressure up? No, they can't. Dokas is offside. Well, uh, just reminding you that there will be a talk show for Ministry of Education coming up later on, just uh, after the analysis of this. It's about 3 p.m. there. So there will be a program for Ministry of Education. Remember that education uh, is still a sector that has been affected a lot by COVID-19. So there will be a lot of uh, discussion. So you don't need to go away. You need to find out uh, the future for the kids as they continue to study. That is a talk show coming up later. And then also later, more Premier League football for you on UBC. Kabulua with the ball. Nababi. Then they collect at the midfield. Now they collect perfectly well. This is Nachiwala. Could they get something courtesy of uh, Anyango? corner just a few min one minute and a few seconds to play for here just that's what is currently standing up here well, it's basically a talk show for UNESCO corner brought through Kaima throw in Oh, 
Well, uh, currently Rines have a footballer on the ground. Yeah, and, and uh, she can afford to stay there, but I don't think the referee will add in more minutes. Yeah, that's Nababi. Yeah, Nababi, she's been instrumental for Rines, has hoped a lot if they are to grab three points, which I think they have already Long done. For yeah. And put it away. One thing I know about the center referee, Aisha, I don't think he should add more minutes after the three. It's a talk show by UNESCO, so they'll be discussing these uh, issues pertaining education too. Sure, and we're just talking about education, so it rhymes with the uh, football we are yeah. giving you because it is uh, school's football uh, at a national level. <laughs> you can't say that. Thank you so much, JD. Thanks, yeah. And there you go, the center referee does blow the whistle. And that brings us to the end of uh, the first games of uh, Group B, which has begun very, very well. The other games will be played tomorrow, same time almost. Uh, so it's been a wonderful day. Good yeah, football. yeah. It is now, uh, of course, uh, very clear uh, that Rene's topped the group and uh, Bunyaruguru goes second with three points. And apparently, the last in the group is uh, the team uh, from Bujiri, the town view. Well, there you have it. So, so far, it's been nice. Just reminding you quickly that the first game that was played, Bunyaru Guru girls actually went on and beat the Shikataka by one goal to zero. And this is the second game, which has actually ended in favor of Rines, beating Townview by three goals to one. Tomorrow will be more good action for you. And that will be Bunyaru Guru. Uh, here we go. Bunyaru Guru girls up against Rines. That's the first nine. Then Townview will be up against Kataka. That will be the other game for tomorrow. We're going for a break. When we come from the break, John Pansentamu and Coach Majida will be wrapping this up here. Don't go away. Experience a 100% 4G speeds across Uganda with the Airtel 4G Pocket Wi-Fi available at 123,000 shillings only. It comes with 15 GB free for one month. Visit the nearest Airtel shop, device selling shop or Airtel online shop. www.airtel.co.ug slash broadband dash discover. Airtel, the smartphone network. What does it mean to be closer together? It's taking the last bus home for a surprise visit. Closer together is strangers finding a connection. It's bringing home.